Hello, my name is Lin Zixin, currently a PhD student at the University of British Columbia NLP Group. Today, I'm glad to be here to introduce our paper, Improving Unsupervised Dialogue Topic Segmentation with the Alterance Pair Coherence Scoring. This work is done by me and my supervisor, Giuseppe Cornini. Dialogue topic segmentation is a fundamental task of dialogue modeling, which aims to reveal the topic structure of a dialogue by segmenting the dialogue session into its topic coherent pieces. Here we have a sampled dialogue session without any topic division. When applying a dialogue topic segmenter onto it, it can be segmented into three coherent sets of utterances with the central topic switched from the requirement of insurance coverage to the information on insurance card and to the way of submitting insurance card. The segment information can be further utilized to enhance the dialogue related NLP tasks, such as dialogue generation, dialogue summarization, and response prediction. Ideally, unsupervised dialogue topics and mentor should have good effectiveness. However, Due to the shortage of the training dialogue corpora labeled with segment boundaries, mainstream options are mostly unsupervised, like text telling and its extensions, or later proposed ISAC and GraphSAC. The common assumption behind these unsupervised methods is that the utterance associated with the same topic should be more coherent together than the utterances about different topics. Thus, the coherence measurement between utterances should be important and directly impact segmented performance. However, the current features used for coherence computing are quite shallow, like lexical overlap, and cannot appropriately reflect the coherence or topic relevance between utterances. Hence, in this work, we propose to leverage the more advanced signals provided by the supervised text pair coherence scoring task, which in our case is the supervised utterance pair coherence scoring task. Then the main issue urgent to resolve is how to get utterance pairs labeled with coherence score for the training of utterance pair coherence scoring model. Directly asking for human annotation by giving utterance pairs the coherence score is tedious and time consuming. Therefore, we borrow a popular idea of generating training data for model log text coherence prediction by modeling it as a learning to rank problem. We can see, as shown here, usually a model log document should contain the structure like sentences to form a paragraph and paragraphs to form a document. Thus, when selecting a sentence, like sentence one in document one in this example, we can subsequently sample three other sentences to form the sentence pair with sentence one here. They are within the same paragraph of sentence one, from different paragraphs are still in the same document, and from different documents. Then naturally, the ranking of the text pair coherence should be like this. Text pairs from the same paragraph should be more coherent together than the text pairs with sentences from different paragraphs are still in the same document, and they are more coherent together than pairs with sentences from different documents. With this assumption, we can generate numerous text pairs with ordering label from plain documents and train a coherent score prediction model to fit the ordering labels. Similar for dialogues, even the structure of dialogues are different from monologues, we can still transfer the similar strategy to it. Like shown here, once we select an utterance, we can further sample three other utterances to pair together with the previously selected one. They are the adjacent utterance, non-adjacent utterance are in the same dialogue, and the utterance from another dialogue. These three kinds of pairs also follow the similar coherence order that the adjacent utterance pairs are more coherent together than non-adjacent pair are still in the same session, which is more coherent together than the pair from different sessions. Since some publicly available dialogue 
Copra contains some more attributes like dialogue acts and the label of topic each dialogue belongs to. We think about utilizing them to further generate utterance pairs with more distinctive orders. As illustrated here, we pick the utterances to form the utterance pair with several rules. The adjacent utterance pair should meet the byturn dialogue flow, like question in form, or directives commissives. For the non-adjacent pair, they shouldn't meet the byturn dialogue flow. For pairs with utterances from different dialogue sessions, they should from different topics. With these rules, the coherence ordering still holds, but with larger distance. And finally, we can generate large-scale ordered utterance pair training corpora for the coherence scoring prediction. With our generated utterance pair ordering dataset, we fine-tune the bird for an exit sentence prediction to predict the coherence score of input pair with marginal ranking loss. The fine-tuned model is further used to measure the coherence of consecutive alternate pairs throughout a dialogue document. Then we follow the text tiling process to segment this dialogue into topic coherent pieces. We comprehensively test our proposal by empirically doing experiments on two languages, English and Chinese. For English, the dialogue corpus we use as source corp corpus to generate the training data for alternate pair coherence model is daily dialogue, which is an open domain dataset. Dialogue sessions in this dataset are also categorized into 10 topics, and each utterance is labeled with dialogue acts including question, inform, directives, commissives. For evaluation, we use lately proposed dial sex 711 and doc to dial. For Chinese, the open domain dialogue corpus we used as source corpus to generate the training data for ordering's pair coherence model is natural curve. Different from the daily dialogue, this data set only has six topic labels for dialogue and no dialogue act. Hence, all the training instance generation strategies with dialogue acts in need are not applicable. For evaluation, we also use the lately proposed VYS dialogue set, which is a real world Chinese data set consists of conversations recorded during customer service phone calls on banking consolidation. We consider to include the stand PK and WinDiff error scores as our evaluation metrics. Since these two metrics have been widely utilized for comparing topics and mentors, they basically measure the probability of mismatches between the ground truth segments and model predictions within a sliding window. They are both penalty metrics. Lower score indicates better performance. And we also use the F1 score as another metric and higher value means better performance. Here is the overall results of our proposal compared with multiple unsupervised baselines on two English and one Chinese evaluation set. Baselines including the unsupervised baselines not based on text tiling, unsupervised baselines extended from text tiling, and our proposal with or without dialogue attributes into account. The segmenters applied on English and Chinese testing data are enhanced by the utterance pair coherence scoring model trained on the data generated from daily dialogue and natural curve, respectively. We can see that even without dialogue acts or dialogue topics used in the data generation process, the performance can already largely outperform baselines. With both knowledges into consideration, the best performance can be achieved. We also studied performance of baselines and our proposal on a particular case. We can observe that the text telling segmenter enhanced by our coherent scoring model can achieve two advantages, which are producing more distinctive depth scores and having more accurate boundary prediction. This paper addressed a key limitation of unsupervised dialogue topics and mentor, namely their 
ability to model topic coherence among utterance in the dialogue. To this end, we leverage signals learned from a neural utterance pair coherence scoring model. With no data labeled with GOAT coherence score, we also propose a simple yet effective way to automatically construct a training data set from any source dialogue corpus. For the future, although most recent work has built on text tally, we plan to explore if our proposal can also be integrated with other unsupervised topic segmentation methods like GraphSec and BiSec, rather than just the text tally. Furthermore, we also plan to explore effective strategies to export external common sense knowledges into topic segmentation, since they have been shown to be beneficial in dialogue generation and summarization. 